Chimam da Nagoski Adichi show story. The thing around the neck is uh, from a 2009 collection of the same name. This delves into themes of immigration, cultural displacement, loneliness, and identity. The story is told from the second person perspective, which creates a sense of intimacy and immediacy. As the protagonist navigates the challenges of living as a Nigerian immigrant in America. The story follows Akuna, a young Nigerian woman who wins the visa lottery and moves to the United States with hopes of a better life. However, her reality in America starkly contrasts with the expectations. Upon arrival, she faces both subtle and overt racism, alienation and cultural dislocation. Akuna moves on in with an uncle, but after an uncomfortable experience where he makes sex sexual advances, she leaves his house and moves to uh, another place, taking a job as a waitress at a restaurant. As Akuna navigates her new life in America, she feels increasingly isolated and disconnected from both the Nigerian heritage and her new surroundings. The, uh, the title, Thing Around Your Neck, represents the weight of alienation, anxiety, and emotional suffocation growing tighter as she struggles to adjust to her new life. Eventually, Akuna begins a relationship with a white American man who is fascinated by her culture but seems more interested in the exotic idea of her Nigerian identity than understanding her as a person. Throughout the story, Akuna's feelings of isolation persist. She avoids writing home, unable to convey the realities of her life to her family who expected her to send money and her stories of success. The story ends ambiguously with Akuna's return to Nigeria after her father dies. But the unresolved tensions of cultural displacement and alienation linger. Theme-wise, the writer talks about mainly immigration and displacement. One of the central themes of the thing around your neck is the experience of immigration and the sense of displacement that accompanies it. Akuna's journey to America, which was supposed to represent opportunity and success, instead brings isolation, confusion, and a sense of not belonging. Her expectations of America clash with the reality of working a low-paying job experiencing racism and feeling disconnected from both her home country and her new surroundings. Akuna's struggles illustrate the emotional toll that immigration can take, particularly when the dream of a better life is not immediately realized. The story captures the immigrant's experience of feeling torn between two worlds, neither fully belonging to their home country uh, nor being fully accepted in the new one. Loneliness and alienation is the next, next theme that the writer focuses on. Akuna's isolation in America is palpable throughout the story. From the moment she arrives, she is confronted with loneliness symbolized by the thing around your neck that tightens as a sense of alienation grows. This metaphor represents the emotional and psychological burden of feeling disconnected from others, from a culture and from, uh, from herself. Her interactions with people around her, whether her co-workers or customers at the restaurant, highlight this isolation. Even her relationship with the white man, who appears kind and interested in her, feels distant. He sees her more as an exotic curiosity rather than an individual with her own complexities. Akuna's inability to fully connect with him or share her true self reinforces her sense of being alone in a foreign land. 
exotic identity and cultural identity are other two important ideas in the novel. The story examines the theme of cultural identity and the exotism of the other. The white is uh, the normal person as seen. The other uh, that is uh, seen through the black people. Akuna's relationship with the white American man exposes the ways in which people can uh, fetishize or romanticize foreign cultures without understanding them. The man is fascinated by a Nigerian background, asking questions about a country and expressing interest in her cultural differences. But he seems more interested in the idea of Akuna as a representative of an exotic culture than in who she is as a person. This exotism distances Akuna from him emotionally as she becomes aware that he cannot fully understand or relate to her experiences, his fascination with the culture feels superficial and highlights the power imbalance in their relationship. Akuna is reduced to adopt, uh, reduced to her identity as a Nigerian immigrant, while her individual personality and a struggle overshadowed by, uh, by his uh, preconceptions. Family expectations and guilt. Akuna's family in Nigeria has high expectations of her success in America. Believing in the myth of the American dream, they expected to send money and letters filled with the stories and with prosperity. However, Akuna's reality is, is much different and she feels unable to share the truth with them. This creates a sense of guilt and emotional pressure, pressure as she feels like she is failing both the family and herself. The disconnect between the expectations of her family and the reality of her life in America further isolates Akuna as she feels unable to bridge the gap between the two worlds. The pressure to live up to her family's hopes adds to the thing around your neck, tightening her emotionally, giving a burden which grows heavier. Power dynamics and sexual harassment are other ideas in the story, which are very important to note. Akuna's uncle makes sexual advances toward her, forcing her to leave his home. This moment underscores the vulnerability that immigrants, especially women, can face in unfamiliar environments. <laughs> Akuna's sense of powerlessness in this situation is reflective of the broader power dy dynamics that exist in her new life, where she constantly at the mercy of others whether it is her, her uncle, her employers, or the strangers who objectify or ignore her. This theme of vulnerability is reinforced in her later relationship, particularly with the white man, where the power imbalance is more subtle but is still present. Akuna's uh, interactions with others in America are shaped by this dynamic of control, alienation, and dependency. The thing around your neck is a metaphor for Akuna's growing sense of anxiety, isolation, and emotional suffocation. This thing represents the weight of a displacement and an inability to express or resolve the complex emotions she's experiencing. It tightens as her loneliness deepens, symbolizing how overwhelming, overwhelming her sense of alienation becomes. The story writer also refers to the necklace as a symbol. Akuna's refusal to wear a necklace that her boyfriend gives her highlights the cultural and emotional disconnection in their relationship. The necklace symbolizes his attempt to connect with her in a spiritual way. 
just as his fascination with the culture is more about curiosity than genuine understanding. Her rejection of the necklace signifies a recognition of the limitations in their relationship and a resistance being objectified or defined by his perception of a culture. Letters to home can also be seen. Akuna's reluctance to write home symbolizes a gap between her reality and America and her family's expectations. The letters are symbolic. The letters she doesn't send represent the unspoken truths about the experiences. The isolation, the disappointment, and the struggles. Her silence is a form of protection, but it also deepens her sense of inflammation, sense of alienation rather. So in conclusion, we can say that this story is a powerful exploration of immigration, identity, and emotional isolation. Through Akuna's story, the writer highlights the complexities of navigating a cultural displacement and the gap between expectations and reality. The story's second person narrative voice along with the central metaphor along with the central metaphor of the thing around your neck creates an intimate and haunting. A uh, haunting, rather, portrayal of the immigrant experience. Akuna's journey is one of longing for connection, for understanding, and for a place to call home. Yet it is one marked by the suffocating weight of loneliness and the emotional cost of being caught between two worlds. Thus, this is a story that makes us uh, think a lot again about changes in life, about uh, uh, about going to a new place, adjusting, about freedom, oppression, and all of that. So if you want to practice this story more, you can write an appreciation referring to the sense, plot, theme, emotions, techniques, tone, messages, theme, uh, uh, techniques, and judgment. And you can write a, uh, an asset app question on the following idea given. Comment on the way the writer Uh, writer explains the explains the cultural identity and alienation through this story.